the department is one of the very few uh, places where you get economics, mathematics and statistics all together. In fact, I don't know of another department which mixes those three elements. So you quite often find maths and statistics together, but to have it with economics adds another dimension. And it means that, that you know, the people who are doing the financial mathematics or the econometrics, which is like statistics and economics mixed together, you know, there's a natural continuity between the, the very, you know, abstract end of maths and stats and the very economics end of economics and they kind of meet together and there's, you know, there's a silly word synergy, but that kind of what's happening, right? That you can talk to people um, working in a slightly different area and it's very interdisciplinary and, you know, it, it's it's a great place for new ideas. One of the reasons why I ended up staying up, uh, staying up back from a master's and coming back from a PhD is because the academic environment and the accessibility of the lecturers is amazing at Birkbeck. We are so specialised in teaching uh, more mature students, so if you're from a diverse background, we fully understand your situation to be able to help you. Um, particularly if you come with your family, you have other work commitments, then we fully understand that. So our uh, uh, lectures are videoed so that if you miss any lectures you'll be able to catch up. Uh, assessments are designed in such a way that again if you have to miss one of the assessments you're not penalised. So the whole system is set up for very much diverse background students. We also take full-time international students and one of the great benefits that they have when they come is they just have a natural network established. They can talk to people who are working in the central bank or the Ministry of Finance in Britain or in financial institutions. You're a part-time university, you have students who are working, working in the city, working in consultancies. They have a very short time limit and they're paying a lot of money to do it and they're investing a lot of their spare time to do it. So of course they also demand that the, the quality of the lectures is matching that, matching their efforts. You've got different experiences, if you're talking about a particular idea, then there'll be people in that group of students who have actually experienced something like this. You know, they've applied that algorithm in their place of work. They've experienced that policy decision and the ramifications of it. So, you know, it's, it's just a wonderful mixture of people that, that make the intellectual environment really, really great for the students and the lecturers.